please welcome Victoria Gotti. Thank you so much. Put your feet on that shoe cam. Yeah, so we can get a shoe shot. There we go, there's the magical oh, shoe cam. It's always the best audience. Okay, aren't they the greatest? Give it up for our audience. Always, Okay, always. I haven't seen you. In a hundred uh, years. Since like 2003, because I was yes. doing Queer Eye and you were doing Growing Up Gotti and there yes. would be, it was the Britney Gastineau era. Yes. Remember? Yes. Like 2003, um, when there was a party and you were there with the boys and, um, that's been a while. We were running you... into each other like every which way. We were. Way. People on thought e we were coast. dating, but <laughs> yes, it's not they true. Did. They did, they did. But do you miss reality TV? Um, do I miss it? I don't miss anything in my life that I've done. I love everything. I, like if people say, do you have any regrets? No. I, everything I've done, I look at the best part of it and uh, no regrets. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yeah. Keep moving. You got to. So. Um, but I think we all love the reality show with your sons, and it, right? Mm -hmm. There they are. They, they're like, this is like pre-Jersey Shore, like yeah. spiky hair. Well, they were offered the Jersey Shore. They said really. No. They said no. See, they, you heard they it here. Got some lookalikes, you know. Okay. Any chance you'd do the show with them again? We're working on something right now. Yeah. You guys, you guys, you guys are the first to know. Oh, no one some knows hot that. scoop. What can you tell us? I mean, really nothing. They haven't allowed me to say anything, but just that we're working on something. And um, I think you'll all be really happy. I think with you and the those that enjoyed it will be happy. With you and the hottie goddies. Well, I, you know what? God bless the girls and the hottie goddies. And right. So you've mom's got the all for that. You got the three boys. And they still, do any of them still live at oh, home? Oh, Christmas, Christmas morning. Okay. Uh, uh, only one. And I think he only stays there because he thinks that, you know, I don't want to leave mom alone kind of thing. But right. Yeah. yeah. That's a good and, Italian and boy. I know. They but live I at feel, home until they're like 38. I feel, <laughs> right. And I feel so bad because it's like the other two bolted right. as quickly as they could, knowing he'd be the last one left. So he's uh -huh. like, he, I think he feels like, you know, it's on him. But I, I think he tell probably him, likes Go. living with you. And that we, we get along great. We, we do. The little cutie is the love of my life, the new love of my oh life. Oh my gosh, who is that? She is my grandson. I am a grandma, and I tell you, I think of ways every night to kidnap him <laughs> and, and get him away, like where no one could catch us, and where would they, like, not look? Uh -huh. Because I want that baby. I'm having the same thoughts about the daddy. Uh, See? Is that your son? <laughs> That's my son. I, I was like, move that baby. I want to see the son. He's <laughs> uh, got some great tattoos. Well, he looks very handsome. Like the little one. No, I'm talking about the one on the right. You take the big one. Oh. I'll take the little one. Oh yeah, I noticed the other one. But now, now that you mention it, <laughs> um, no, your kids are so attractive. So you turned uh, out some good-looking good. people. They're good. Right. And they're good, they're good to me. They are so good to me. Well, that's, that's important. I think it probably goes both ways. You I know, am. You're a good I mom, am. they're, they're paying it back. You were married. I was Divorced. Married. Are you dating, Any, anybody on the romance horizon? I'm dating, but I'm not dating anybody special right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> if you're watching, she's not talking about you. <laughs> okay? Right, correct. Uh, how do you how do you how do you date? I mean, are you online? No. Or? Okay. No. Oh my goodness, no! I'd be so I'd be so afraid. I wouldn't know. I don't trust anybody anyway. Right. So, it's like I feel like everybody you meet, you, I always look through them anyway, and I feel like they want something or they need something or mm -hmm. I can't raise another child. I can't raise another son. Right. I right. Can't. So I you're. Not. You're more, you'll meet somebody if your friends set you up or? Friends or believe it or not, you know, work, just strange, the strangest uh -huh. little, as I said years ago, the easiest places to meet them. But um, I like to generally know a little bit more about right. them before, you know, and it's easier that way because it's a little more trust. I, I just mistrust mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, of I like to meet my guys at church. See, good place, good place. Or Bloomingdale's as I call it. Well, if you meet them, well, yeah, that's right. And yeah. if you've met them in church, then you know it's a good guy. No, I know. You gotta do a little, gotta do a little, um, a little like pre-screening or something. Of course. Now I know you're friends with Teresa from yes. R H O N J. N J. Um, how did you guys meet? 
We met, um, God, you know, it, it was so, we really met doing Celeb Apprentice. Oh my gosh, I feel your pain. I did that show too. Yes. So hard. Honey, I know. And when they got it for you, right. honey, when you're like the jelly, you know, they were all gonna, like, uh, you have the hour, the, the big. No, like, I've never done a back. show where they actually want you to, like, you know, like mess up. I was yeah, like, wait a minute, yeah. you didn't order my furniture? I'm gay, I've got a backup. <laughs> they, almost, uh, they almost plan it. They lay awake at night. No, I like, know, it's challenging. It's so right? challenging. Thinking how to get that one so, person with a bullseye. And you did the show together, so you could have yeah. been enemies, but you became friends. They wanted us to be enemies. And uh. then one day, her and her husband just knocked on my door, and, and we, um, we hit it off. And, you know, we actually mm -hmm. argued first. <laughs> and then. Then you, we made the, up. those Reunite. are the best friends, I think, when yeah. you can kind of have a little bit of a pushback and you're like, wait, yeah. I respect you, you respect me. Do you, what do you think is gonna happen with Joe in that whole scenario? I'm hearing so many different things too, like everybody else. Right. I personally would be very surprised to see if, you know, Joe was um, sent to Italy mm -hmm. and uh, deported and she was to stay here, I'd be very surprised. I right. just don't see, I don't think that Teresa and Joe are finished by any means yet. Okay. That's just me as a friend of both of them. Gotcha, That's all gotcha. I'm and then, and you have, it's kind of fun when you do a TV project, you get to, you know, people want to reach out to you so you become friends with other celebs. I guess you, that's kind of what happened with you and little Kim. Yes. yes. How did that, there you are. I'm she just, is oh, so cool. She is. She is cool. She is. So how did you guys meet? She just reached out to you to be in a video or she, something? You know, yeah, she just started, she put a few, my name in a few of her songs and mm -hmm. then called one day, went to a few people, got on the phone and said, hey, I want you in my next video. And I was like, I don't do that. No, I could never. How did she find you? Um, through a press rep or someone. Okay. And then, and then she said, you know, uh, she, she really, really wanted me. She was emphatic, Leah. And I said, all right. And we met, I admired her, her work, and we, she said, just meet us at the, I should have known then, but meet us at the Brooklyn Bridge at 1.45 a.m. Tuesday night. Huh. If I had a nickel. I'm waiting for this trailer or something when we get out of the car, and right. I'm like half asleep already. We're working, doing the show and all. We had early calls, late, you know, we got, okay. I get out, as you could see, it's this, like she has this whole runway set up. Right. And there's a few girls with furs, and she does her so whole thing. So it was cold. Thing. It was very, it was like one of those six degree, you know, Like nights. today. Like today. And all of a sudden, I'm freezing, as you could see in that picture. Right. And all of a sudden, she does this big reveal in the end and whips open her coat for this press photo. You don't see it there. Right. I don't realize it, but I know everybody's like, uh-huh. Wow. And I'm looking at them, and I'm looking back at me thinking, what happened? Like, what did I do? And then I look at her, and I went, right. oh, my God. <laughs> she has got a mink bikini on. Like, I had the nerve to complain that I'm cold. Right. And she's just, like, giving it. And I'm like... Now you go, girl, but I can't do anything. No, so. no. You know, all I kept saying I was, I'm just following you. All right. I'm just following you. You have a new movie out yes. uh, for Lifetime. Tell us about it. Ah, oh, goodness. Um, it's, it's a movie about, you know, my life. Mm -hmm. it, it, people say, oh, well, you know, you and your dad, your dad, your dad. It's really my life, and I'd be remiss if I excluded him or right, said he right. didn't, just called him Mr. Smith. Um, <laughs> So it's, it's interesting in that I, um, the writer, things didn't work out you know, with the writer initially, and this okay. has been a project that Lifetime and I have been going so they came like to like seven and, years. You guys kind of were a partnership, and they I had a the writer. I, in the end, writing it. I, I, in the end, in like 14 days, where you had eight months, I wrote it, exec produced it, narrated it, then they wanted right. me in it, and uh, then I went to the shoots and all that, so it was really a project that I thought I wouldn't have as much input or control and all that. And I have to tell you, I, I, I really felt so gratified about you it. You did the whole thing. Good for you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for oh, being here. Pleasure. I hope the movie is a big hit. Victoria's new movie, Victoria Gotti, My Father's Daughter, premieres February 9th on Lifetime.